Welcome to Gradient Flow Snapshot number 32. OpenStreetMap, or OSM, is a free, editable map of the world. Many governments, geodata services, and more rely on OSM. Over 1.5 million individuals have contributed data to OSM. Amazon, Apple, Facebook, and other technology companies are now investing in OSM and using its infrastructure. Map guy Joe Morrison notes in a recent Medium post that some community members believe OpenStreetMap is being irreversibly adulterated by corporate interests. Many of the corporations are building digital features that use OSM to interact with the real world, such as Apple's recent addition of LiDAR to iPhones and iPods. Yet Morrison concludes that the goals of the OSM community and corporate contributors are largely aligned, since all are enriching the common resource of OSM. Learn how to use fair, legal, and secure AI from top experts at our free webinar on December 15, Responsible AI in Practice. In October 2020, Consumer Reports published ratings of 18 active driving assistance systems, which allow a driver to use adaptive cruise control and lane-keeping assistance. The testing rated capabilities and performance, driver engagement, ease of use, clear when safe to use, and unresponsive driver. In addition to the final ratings, Consumer Reports included design recommendations for future ADA manufacturers. See Gradient Flow Newsletter number 23 for more. Senior Director Blake Norrish recently reviewed the testing challenges that data pipelines pose for quality engineers. He perceives data pipelines as two orthogonal paths that process both data and promotion of code. Norris describes the unique testing challenges of quality thresholds, walled gardens, and multi-dimensional quality for data pipelines. To learn more, visit gradientflow.com newsletter and subscribe. Thank you. Mm-hmm.